Esophageal cancer is a rare disease. It affects the lining of your esophagus and is oftentimes deadly because it's usually found too late. In fact, only about 20% of people with this form of cancer survive five years after being diagnosed. So this evening, our in-depth reporter Anthony Hill is speaking with a survivor about his experience with this cancer, and he's asking doctors about what symptoms to look out for and what causes the cancer in the first place. I suffered from uh, what I thought was you know, mild uh, acid reflux for Craig Smith, 2021 is a year he'll never forget. What he thought was just indigestion ended up being a deadly disease that claims the lives of most people who get it. It's more common than people know, and oftentimes when people find it, it's too late. Craig did what many people don't, and it saved his life. He decided to see a specialist to get down to the bottom of his symptoms. And when he did, he found out that he had esophageal cancer. This form of cancer attacks the lining of the esophagus, also known as the food pipe. The food pipe connects the mouth to the stomach. And then I needed to find a specialist, and I found that with Dr. Aram at Cleveland Clinic. This is Craig's doctor, Dr. Tolga Aram. He's a gastroenterologist and was the one who removed the cancer from Craig's esophagus. Dr. Aram says if it's caught early, specialists can treat it without a surgical procedure. We may be able to treat it endoscopically through the mouth. But in later stages, uh, you will need to have surgery to remove part of the esophagus. Conversely, if you wait too long, the cancer can get far enough to where surgery is no longer an option. It can be very difficult to know for sure if you have esophageal cancer. But doctors say chronic acid reflux can be a symptom. In the early stages, like, like we said, that there's not many uh, symptoms. In the later stages, typically it's difficulty swallowing. So when you're trying to swallow food, uh, all of a sudden it feels like it's not going down as easily as it used to. If associated with that, you have some decreased weight, that needs to be looked at. Dr. Rick Schmidt is a surgeon at Baycare Health in Tampa, and he's operated on several people with esophageal cancer. We'll get back to Dr. Weight. Schmidt in a second. But first, here are some statistics on how this form of cancer affects people. According to the American Cancer Society, this year, it's estimated that about 21,000 adults will be diagnosed with esophageal cancer just in the United States. Men are more at risk of having this cancer. In fact, it's the seventh most common cause of cancer deaths for men in the United States. It's estimated that about 16,000 people will die from this cancer in the United States this year alone. And so with time, we've gotten more and more capabilities for detecting the spread. Years and years ago, we didn't have some of these capabilities. He says nowadays they have PET scans, CAT scans, and ultrasound devices that better allow them to examine the esophagus, which is key to catching this disease early. But it's just people being vigilant about their symptoms. If you notice a change in your swallowing, and it, let's say, I'm not saying a week's worth, you just kind of watch it for a little while, but if you've got ongoing change in your swallowing, that probably needs to be looked at. Doctors say the best way to decrease your chances of getting esophageal cancer is by not smoking tobacco, drinking alcohol in moderation, and maintaining a healthy weight. As for Craig, he's just happy to have a second chance at life without cancer. He says, this experience has made him more aware of his eating and drinking habits and the importance of being physically active. You know, I think once you discover this and, and you realize that, you know, it's uh, um, that you've caught it early, you know, it just makes you know, life all the richer. And, and I'm certainly living life fully and uh, doing everything that I did before and more. In Tampa, I'm in-depth reporter Anthony Hill, ABC Action News.